How did I hear about First Life? So I was in the Citizens Advice Bureau in Morecambe um, and I picked up a leaflet. It was the last one, uh, so it was fate really. Um, so I picked the leaflet up, did need help, um, and uh, I rang the number on the back and I got straight through to Dorinda, um, who's the chairwoman of the charity. Uh, lovely, lovely woman. Um, helped me massively, um, right from the outset. Um, finished the conversation by telling me somebody would be in touch shortly, and 20 minutes later, um, the support coordinator from Lancaster rang me. House First Light supported me. Oh my God, where'd I start? Um, sorry. Uh, First Light have done a lot for me. Um, I was in bits when I when I first uh, when I first got in touch with them. Um, the regular hospital visits over at Manchester. Um, I didn't know my ass from my elbow, to be honest. Um, There's not a lot of depth. Um, just nothing. Nothing was going right. Um, and Gary Parrish, who's the old support coordinator, helped me massively at first. Uh, then, unfortunately, he left. Um, and about five months later, uh, we got a new support coordinator, Gary Hayes. Um, great lad. Um, 23rd of October this year, well last year, sorry, um, I had 10 seizures in one day, which was out of the ordinary, never happened before. Um, and Gary managed to get me into Westfield Memorial Village, which is like a veteran village in Lancaster. Um, fully supported, uh, great support around the village, everybody's ex-veterans, um, he's got me lifeline put in, so I have that peace of mind, hopefully Charlie, my little lad, um, and Abigail, my daughter, hopefully they'll start coming and spending a bit more time now that the lifeline's in, um, I've missed them, I've missed them. Um, it's been hard, but that's what First Light's done for me, and they can do the same for you. Four, three, two, one, and let the breath go. So that's one round completed. Mm -hmm.